What is going on everyone? This is Ninja Geek here, and in this video, I want to talk about something that was very interesting about the last gen versions of Black Ops 3, and of course we got some more information on zombies in the Juggernaut Edition in the Black Ops 3 Friday livestream, which I will leave a link below and on screen right now. So you can go check that out. Not really going to be talking much about that, but some cool things were announced for zombies in zombies like the progression level and system and all that stuff. So you can watch the live stream there and then they unbox the Juggernaut Edition. But in this video, I want to talk about the 30 frames a second on the last generation of consoles because that's bad, people. That's really bad. I made a video a while back t talking about the bad things about the last generation of Black Ops 3. And that video wasn't even, you know, that was before the campaign was cut from the game and everything like that. And in this video, I want to show off a graphics comparison. I don't actually have the game, but I edited it so you can kind of see what it might be like on the last gen versions. And here we go. I'm going to show you now. <laughs> oh my god, man. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god, man. You thought that was a video, right? You thought the, you thought YouTube was actually cutting out on you? You thought YouTube tried to button up? Oh my god, man. <laughs> this looks like fucking horror species. Oh, alright. I need. I really need to get this shit off the screen. I really gotta get this off the screen now, but... Anyways, that... that uh, I, I hope you guys didn't take that seriously, because... That's actually, that was obviously a joke... But now we're getting into uh, what I actually want to show off, which is somewhat similar of what you might find and expect on the Xbox 360 and uh, PS3 versions of Black Ops 3. So before, obviously, was a joke. Don't take that seriously. Just messing around. This is what you might see on the 360 and, uh, and PlayStation 3 versions of Black Ops 3. And they noticed there, they uh, said that it was going to be 30 frames a second, which is really bad. Now, for a comparison... Destiny is in 30 frames a second, but Destiny is a different kind of game. It was like the first of its kind, so 30 frames a second with 1080p isn't that bad on Destiny because it works for that game. Call of Duty's always been 60 frames a second, and going to 30 frames is going to be really bad. I think it's going to be a really bad experience. You may not be able to see in this video, but just by playing Call of Duty in 30 frames a second, you're going to notice a huge problem there, especially with the fact that campaign is cut, and there's so many features cut from this game. And personally, I would not be buying this game on the last generation of consoles. Uh, if if I were you, getting this game and trying to decide if you should get it or not, obviously you should not get it and wait until you get a current generation Xbox One, PS4, or PC, however you want to look at that, because there's just way too many features cut from the last gen versions. I don't think they should be even released. They're, they sound like a huge disgrace to Call of Duty, and they're not going to live up to anything that Call of Duty was, especially with this 30 frames a second. It's it, You think, oh, 30 frames a second, well, I mean, that's not that bad. It, it, trust me, when you get into the game, uh, it's going to be pretty bad. Destiny, like I said, you're, you don't really notice it that much in Destiny, because Destiny is a game on its own. You don't have anything to go before that, but playing Call of Duty for so long and then going to 30 frames instead of 60 frames is going to be a big ouch moment. And along with the fact that campaign is cut, there's uh, no Nuketown map, there's no season pass, there's nothing basically for the 360 version and PS3, there's no reason to get the game. There, there really isn't. And in, in fact, if they you do release the game, which I still think is a disgrace, they should drop the price down $10 more than it already is. So it's 50 It's 50 so it's forty nine ninety nine. It should be dropped $10 from that, in my own opinion. But, yeah, that's that's really it. And uh, this is just really bad news for those older consoles, and that's what I really wanted to make this video on, but I wanted to throw in that little joke there just to make a laughter of the situation there, because obviously the graphics are not going to be that bad. That was just a joke, but uh, this this is what something that it might be like. And in the beginning of this video, as you saw, those are what the graphics are like currently. So you got to kind of get a cool uh, ingesture. I'll probably put them side by side so you can see what the difference is like between the uh, the older versions and the newer versions of something. Again, you know, I don't have, obviously, the game. The game isn't released yet, but something similar to of that, what might be released between graphics comparison, just to kind of get an idea of what it may be like, judging by these specs. But that's it for this video. Leave a like if you did enjoy, and of course, subscribe for more content. And the Black Ops 3 Friday's live stream again, will be a link in the description below, so you can check that out for yourselves. The Juggernaut Edition was unboxed and that 
is cool. I'm getting the Juggernaut Edition, so uh, it was cool to see them unbox that along with the mini fridge and all that stuff that comes with it. But that's it. I'm Ninja Geek. I'm out. Peace.